Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. You like my bracelet? They're for sale now. They're for sale. Guys, I'll put the commercial later. Guys, please like, subscribe, and share, and hit the bell. I am losing people because people think they're subscribed, and they're not subscribed because I look and I see and I know, and I don't know why they keep unsubscribing, but I think it's a glitch. Is it a glitch? It might not be a glitch. Who knows? But please, if you like the channel, please make sure you're subscribed. Please hit the bell. It doesn't cost anything. And the bracelets are only $4 if you want them. Guys, I'll tell you about that later. Here's the thing. Stefan Stearns pissed me off again. And Jen Soto pissed me off more again. Because guess what? Where'd they get their money? Where did they get their money from? Because that's what... Stefan Stern's parents are asking where they're getting their money, how they spent so much money. They went on trips. Nobody was working, but they had money. And you know what else they had? They had pictures of Maddie and they had pictures of Stefan. And those pictures should never see the light of day. But it seems maybe, possibly, probably that they were distributed for a cash price. Did Jen Soto know? Is that why Jen Soto is still breathing free air? Because they're trying to get this big ring together and she might have something to do with it? For the greater good, she might be able to walk the streets. Her daughter's no longer here. Those photos, they're here. We know what Stefan was doing to Maddie. We know that because there's pictures. There's no doubt. Jen Soto knows that Stefan didn't have a job, but that he made money. This was happening under the roof that she lived in. You can't tell me that she knew nothing about it when all the fingers are pointing at her. Stefan, I don't believe, did this on his own. Maybe he unalived Maddie on his own, but the relationship that was going on between them, that A-B-U-S-E, you can't tell me Jen didn't know anything about it and possibly reap the benefits, the financial benefits of it because she was lazy, because she didn't care. There is no scenario that doesn't make Jen culpable. It's either she was lazy and negligent and didn't care and closed her eyes to it and self-medicated and therefore culpable or she actively took part in what was going on by making Maddie readily available by keeping stump by not paying attention by paying attention what degree what degree is Jen Soto guilty because she's guilty there's no way she's not we're here to protect our children. We're here to protect kids that aren't even our children. So why did Maddie just kind of go to the wayside here? Why was Maddie a sacrifice for Jen? We know that Jen didn't enjoy relations with Stefan. She said that. She said it was painful for her. She said it was uncomfortable for her. So in order to keep him, she offered up her daughter. Is that what happened? Or did she just say, well, he's not bothering me and he's in the house and she seems to like him. And Stefan, who had a TBI, traumatic brain injury, got ran over and then re-ran over, has no excuse for his actions here. No excuse. His parents, failure to launch, and they didn't do much to help him. They didn't do much to help him. Put him out on his ass, make him get it on his own. Something. You can clearly see his mom found excuses, whereas dad tried to make him a man, it seems like. Because there was a divorce between the two of them that was going to happen. And problems, or their, the divorce, it, that's a messed up thing on their own. But Stefan was the crux of that, it seems like. And to this day, his mom's sending origami books so that he has something to do in jail. Let him fucking sit in jail and think about what he did. Why are you sending him anything? 
Why isn't Jen Soto arrested here? How much more ugly can come out of this case of this beautiful little girl who didn't deserve any of this shit? How much more are we going to take while Jen Soto is still walking around? Somebody that didn't show any remorse, somebody that didn't show any emotion when her kid was missing, somebody who didn't go out and look for their kid, somebody who didn't shed a tear, no angst in their voice. Why? Why? It can't just be us saying something's wrong here. This woman is breathing air, walking the streets. Her daughter is no longer here. It happened in her house for years. For years, there's pictures. This happened for years. You can't tell me that kid never said anything or acted any different over the course of the years when she was being treated like that? Nothing? It's not enough that parents don't harm their children. They have to prevent them from being harmed from other people, especially in their home and the people that they bring into their home. Maybe Jen Soto needs to be the example for that. They're now punishing parents who are helping young people under the age of 18 get firearms and then going into a school and unaliving people. Those parents are now being held accountable. Jen Soto's walking the streets in her own home. This happened. This was her boyfriend. She knew that he wasn't interested in her anymore. She made a comment that the thing she feared was a Woody Allen scenario. Who says that if they don't think that there's something going on between their daughter and the boyfriend? Who says it? Where's it come from? So many different comparisons. That's the one you pick? And you didn't know anything? And then she says, it wasn't evil. That part, the unaliving was the evil part. Maybe that was the only time that Maddie got any peace in her life. Because you weren't protecting her, Jen. And now the fact that there were pictures and people were benefiting financially, it seems, going on trips. And Jen was going on trips too. Guys, I don't know if that's why she's not charged yet. I don't know if they're trying to get this whole ring of people together or what. I can't imagine her not being charged. Her not being punished for this. Because it honestly didn't seem like she emotionally was in pain. Anyway, guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. When it comes to children, there is no joking around. It is no joke. Guys, check out this little commercial about the bracelets. Guys, you asked for them and they have arrived. Here they are. And they say, be better today than you were yesterday, but not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. Guys, Cash App is inside my description. And, uh, or PayPal, also in my description. Guys, four dollars, four dollars, and I'll mail them to you. If you're out of the country, five dollars. Guys, just make sure that you send your address with it. You know, in the memo, you should put your address. Inside is embossed. It says Toddy One Skip. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the bell, guys. Please hit the bell. Please be better today than you were yesterday. Not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. Always, always be kind, guys. Thanks.